What else you got hiding in this house of yours, mate? Any Pokemon cards? Uh, yeah. Do you, you into Yu-Gi-Oh as well? Yes. <laughs> There's no way. Steelbook, limited edition, PS3. There's a whole bunch of there. Dude. That is an absolute monster. Hold on to him. Hold on to him tightly. That could be good. Dude, there's a bunch of PSP down here. How much on the video games? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, I was actually pulling them out. Oh, oh Hannah. No. Yeah, the young guy here. Yeah, yeah. They're just a dollar each. Dollar each. Oh, yeah. Take the tub. Yeah, take the tub. Yeah. It's not a steal. No, but it's not a Dude, that's crazy. Wait, hold that tight. <laughs> One seventy-five. Um, I really oh, there's some more. Oh, How many have we got here? How much on that one, mate? Um, 20. 20? Yep. Thanks, mate. and friends. seen crazy chicken before. Um, what about this tub of games here, mate? Yeah, they'd all be a dollar as well. All right, I'll take all those. Whatever prices are all Dollar each, if we took them all. We'll add them all up. Those, those. Throw that over there. Would you do 15 on that one? Yeah. yeah. Throw that in. Mr. Breeze. You a fan? Yeah, I, I, I like um, New Orleans because we've lived up at Memphis. Oh, you live there? So oh, did you really? Just outside, just south of Memphis. So. Incredible. Yeah, so that's sort of great. Oh, how about that one there? Um, I'll tell you what, how much is on it? Didn't see a price. Okay. I'll, I'll do it 20. 20? Because it's it's leather. Yep. Um, I had people asking me if it's a genuine ball. I said, if it's a genuine ball, they wouldn't have sort of made them for resale. They're making the souvenir ones. So, and it's probably worth a fortune. Yeah. It was the original ball that they used yeah. at that game. So. I just couldn't understand what they were talking about. Mm. So I started off at 50 and then I had someone definitely coming around to get it. Negotiated. A good old marketplace sort of. Yeah, no one okay. bothers even giving you their message, you know, so. I'll add it in for 20, mate. All right. 
I'll chuck it over here. Throw them into the pile. That sounds good for me. You know when I bought them, where I bought them. Give the bag. Why that one? Building up a pile. Look at this, dude. Yeah. They want 250 for this. Ali versus Fraser. That's awesome. Oh, these guys. It says Nord Nord Souvenir. Dude, I'm shaking at that video game fight. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on it. I'm you said you had heart palpitations, bro. <laughs> Dude, this could be this could be good. Is this one being sold, mate? There's, um, Sons of Anarchy? Yeah, there's five there, missing four. Missing four. But it's a dollar each. That's not bad. I don't want them, so. You don't want them? Uh, Blu-ray player. Uh, we'll do... How's ten sound for that? Ten's fine. Yeah. I'll add that over in the, in the pile. I would be. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go grab one. All right, mate. How many have you got? Uh, just the one. Actually. Okay. I've already sold the other one. Oh, okay. No worries. You know if she works all right? Uh, yeah, I had her... Hooked up a few months ago and it all like it plays and stuff. Plays out. I couldn't for get it to record though. Okay. But that might have just been the setup with the TV. I gotcha. Yeah. More modern TVs don't really work too well with these ones. No, that's right. More old but, school. Um, you'll need a power supply for it. Yes. But it's a real simple one. Yeah. How much are you thinking on that? We'll do another ten for this one as well. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. Some more games. Alien series is an alien isolation. Breaking Bads. What do we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll take some. Yo. There was a master system. It might already be gone. Oh. He might ask for it. Oh. You, you can take it, dude. Um, what about these as well? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Cool. I think he might ask for it, so. Well, I just said do it outside because there's so many people in there. Oh, well, um. You got these? No. They could go well. Pretty negotiable and stuff too. Oh, it's Halloween. Yeah, yeah dude, that'd be hard. But this is too. It's a little bit more warped, but the big guys do well. You'd probably get both for maybe 20, 25. I've seen them around. <laughs> they're figurines. I know. It used to be massive. Like people would get that collections of like, you know, their kind of favorite comic kind of person and oh, they're just in boxes. 
I've they, seen people there's so them. many of them. There's heaps of them, yeah. yeah. But some of them are pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is he? Oh, yeah. Sick, man. There's controllers for uh, the N64 in there. How much on the lot? Um, let's see. Be for the box. Sure. Yeah, there's controllers in there for the oh, 64 yeah. and you know, PlayStation mm -hmm. 2 as well. Mm -hmm. What else you got hiding in this house of yours, mate? Any Pokemon cards? Uh, yeah. Do you do you into Yu-Gi-Oh as well? Yes. <laughs> Just a Shadowless Charizard if you got one. <laughs> Just two of them. Times two. Dude. Just, okay. You got any Pokemon cards? <laughs> Yeah. I don't ever ask that kind of stuff because people don't, eh? Oh, no one does. This is like crazy that well, like everything you ask for. It's like nobody ever has Yu Gi Oh! Eh? Everything you ask for, though. You've got Yu Gi Oh! Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's unreal. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Love that. Do you want to have a look at that? Yeah. Like well, I'll take that like as well. Yeah. 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 It does look like new, oh, older stuff here. Yeah. Older, bro. That's older. older. Yeah. Any highs? Um, do... I'll try to find some hollers. Yeah. First. They're all old, though. Here we go. Yeah, they're all old, but yeah. Couple of hollers here. Yeah, that's good. Just that one now, fakey. Fakey. I think it's worth grabbing though, bro. Yeah, I'll try to get to the hollows. There's Yu Gi Oh! Yeah, there's some Yu Gi Oh! stuff at the front here. Blue Eyes White Dragon! <laughs> uh, not yet. <laughs> Might be in there. Come on, man. Surely he's got a fold inside with the goodies in there. Oh, fa fakey. Fakey? Yeah. And that's all those. There's look, a couple of them fake. That's alright, but. Side Dragon, that's a nice one. No, that's fakey. Oh, Extreme Cryo Market's fakey. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Used to buy them at Cryo Market's like that. Really? A lot of fakes, eh? Yeah, a few fakies, yeah. These, these Pokemon cards are Yeah, Pokemon's a bit right, yeah. Because that, that's 2002. From the Sky Ridge, yeah. That's a great old school. I mean, the condition of them isn't great, but... You could sell them as a bundle. Yeah. Well, do you want to split it? You take Yu-Gi-Oh and I take Pokemon. Oh, you can just take it all. There's not, there's no good Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. ones in there. Oh, is there? No. I reckon these would be a bundle only. People are probably hating on me right now, just <laughs> trying to flatten them out on the no. on the concrete. Yeah. But they're pretty warped. They're not not the best. Yeah. Where's that PlayStation thing, bro? Is that a light? Yeah. It's mint. Yeah. Yeah. This is cool. That is really cool. Like, so he's got 80, maybe I'll go 20 on that. Yeah. Make it 100 for everything. And then he's got N64 controllers. This is the craziest garage sale I've ever been to. And then some PS2 controllers in there as well. Look at this dude. That's an awesome light. That's sick. I love that. Um, what about the Pokemon cards? How much on that tub? These are all the ones you have. You don't have any yeah, like folders or anything? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure that that's everything else is already sold. Yeah, everything yeah. else sold, yeah. Um, so Nothing else? Yeah. We'll do 50. Would that be alright? Um, would you go 30? Yeah, I can do 30. Alright, we'll go 30 on that. And then 20 for the... Yeah, I was thinking 20 on that. Yeah, cool. Um, so that'd be 130 for everything there. Hey, good boy, you for asking. That was you, eh? Yeah. You said, you got any more stuff? Yeah. You've always got to ask that question in the car, so. It might happen to Tori if they haven't already sold it. They have a bad habit of selling my things. <laughs> <laughs> I might have an Atari. I'll have to have a look. Yeah, yeah dude. We're, we're, we're chilling. Yeah. Happy days. What's that? Yeah. There's some good money in the guitars, too. Absolutely. Here we are, Video games and like probably so much more money with that. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, play. Games. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, um, this thing over here, man. Have a look at this. Yeah. Seven hundred. But it's worth two grand. Tascam. It's a Porter Studio 488. What about these, bro? 100 bucks each? There you go. It's probably part of a band. Like the Atari's long gone. Long gone? Oh, that's cool though. Yeah. That's unopened. Unopened? Yeah. Box is a little worse for wear, but. Yeah. Any other Lego? No, that'd be about that's it. That's about it. Yeah, cool. Alright. How much on that? We'll do 50. 50? Yeah. Jax? I think what are they, like $200 for them. Thoughts on that? <laughs> well, I mean, anything video game related, man, I'm. I'm more than happy to grab. Yeah, I'll grab your number. Yeah. If I find anything. I'll yeah, and the Pokemon cards. If there's any more of them lying around, yeah, I'll uh, definitely happily give you digits. Uh, zero four zero two. I'll, I'll definitely let you know if yeah. I find anything. I'm pretty locally based. Can whip around at any point in time. So, did you have a look through these, Jacks? Watches. Um, they're, they're all working too. All working. Yeah. Surf ones. All working. This is Quartz? No. That could be good, dude. 20 on that. What is it? Mark Jacobs. Yeah. I reckon this one is. This is the Seiko. Seiko? Seiko, yeah. Seiko. But there's so many fake Seikos around. 20 on that. Yeah. I don't know, man. This fuck Jacobs. What do you think of that? <laughs> Ripco. Oh, cheeky one, yeah. yeah. Look, woman's one, though. It's only five. Alright. Um, you don't reckon? On the Watches? Nah. Nah. Dude, I think that Lego would go hard. It's about 150. 1,074 and he said it was new. And then, what about that? The Tube Screamer. Some cool stuff though. Look at this, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters for five. 2016. The Hallmarks. They're all the same. It's Toy Story. Oh, no, Star Wars. Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. Oh, look at these. m and stuff does well. Novelty Dispenser. Don't know who they are. Five dollars. It's all weird, interesting things, man. Disney traditions mini figurine. Fifty dollars. Some of them can do well, but I just don't know. Well, yeah, I, let's dig into that. Like, what's this? Overwatch. See, Lord of the Rings, I think, does okay. That's not what I was saying. That's a Balrog. 
I don't think this one is one. Well. It's just sealed. So. Yeah. Dude, Master of the Universe could be good. Yeah. Okay, Skeletal on throne. Maybe search up here. A bunch of loose ones too. How much on the records? Uh, what do you have? Yeah. I could do five for the three. Okay. Is that one still sealed? Yeah, Florence and Machine. That's good. That's it. Florence is awesome. Mm -hmm. Give you five of that. I've actually got enough. I've got ten bucks, so I might as well. There's, I think there's a few more vinyls down the back. How to look in there. Behind the shoes. Oh, okay. All right. So a bunch of consoles, games and DVDs. Got the shoes, the PS2 light, the footy, the jersey, and then the players. I think we had 123 on the games and DVDs. Um, so this was 130. We had... So 123 and 130 is 253. 253 plus 20, 273. 290 and that footy was 310 I think I think it's 310 an absolutely mental run the first garage sale I've actually been to this year so it's given me a bit of motivation to get out and do some more garage sales because that was just ridiculous all the sorts of things that I wanted to buy in a garage sale in the one spot from the same buyer and he was so great on his price points enough to be able to make a ton of profit on all of this so I'm now home I've got everything laid out here on the floor, all of this in front of me. What I want to do is just talk you through some price points uh, that we're going to be able to list this up for and sell on eBay. And the first thing that I want to break down is the video games. So all in all, there was 123 games and DVDs, and I've actually gone ahead and basically broke down everything to its value. All of these here didn't make the mark of $20 plus. So I've gone ahead and I've done a bundle there of about 29 Xbox 360. I've got some PlayStation 2 games there. I think there were about 21 of those. And then 27 PlayStation 3 games. Uh, I'm going to try on eBay for $4 a piece, which would make that $75, $100, and 100 um, Selling for $4 a piece as a lot, uh, that's $280 worth of value, and we're paying $123 for everything. So if we can get our money back in the bundle lots here, that would be incredible. If I don't get them selling at $4, I'm going to drop the price down to $3 because I've had them sell at that rate before. Um, as for the individual games, I've got these right here that have made the cut. So as you can see, there are a lot more games that were less than 20 than there was for individual pricing. But this one here is an absolute ripper. We've got Yakuza Dead Souls. This is a steelbook edition. The game is in excellent condition. As you can see, limited edition down the bottom there. There is a comp that sold for $320 for this game and another on best offer at $210. Uh, so I'm going to actually try and list that up for $209. Uh, there are four copies right now available on eBay, uh, so I'm going to be the cheapest. But that is absolutely incredible. Um, we've got this one here as well. This was the Super Smash Bros. Uh, Melee or Melee. Um, this one here in excellent condition as well. You can get upwards of $100 for this game, but I've gone ahead and I've listed it up for $80. Uh, there are a ton of comps on that. Uh, I really love the fact that this Skate 2 game is worth quite a bit of money. This game has actually sold multiple times for over $100, if you wouldn't believe. So Xbox 360 Skate 2, add that to your bucket list if you haven't found it yet. Um, unfortunately, the game copy on this one is a little bit scratched up, so I've had to mention that. Uh, in the video, uh, oh, sorry, in the listing, as you can see there, there are some pretty heavy scratches. So uh, I've gone ahead and listed that up for $50, but if you were to buff it out, you might be able to get $80 to $90 for that game there. A um, bunch of other games that were doing pretty well. The Godfather 2 was about $35. So all in all, there was a heavy, heavy amount of profit coming in the video game category. And it's what I want to focus on more. As you can see here, my video game cabinet is looking a little bit bare. So that's why I was so happy to get that video game allocation. In the DVDs, we've got a couple here that have done really well. This Revenge of the Nerds is a complete collection and it sells for about $50. So that was great, picking it up for just a dollar. Um, Survival of the Dead was the best in the horror DVDs that he had there. Uh, I was able to pick up this one and it sells for about $20. We've got Sons of Anarchy Season 1 to 6. I think I can get about $40 for that. But if we had Season 7, 
uh, that would be complete. So I only need to find that out in the thrift and I will have a complete series there. And then Breaking Bad, every single episode, season one to six, uh, I should be able to get about $50 for that game. So, you know, not a ton of DVDs considering he had so many there, um, but there's a good $100, $150 worth of value uh, in those four listings there. As for the Pokemon cards, uh, I've been able to pick up this one here, which is the Rocket's Trap. Um, it's a holo card that was selling for about $20 to $30, so that was pretty epic. Um, it is the, I'm not 100% sure if that's the Team Rocket uh, edition or not, but all of these cards here are vintage cards, as you can see. The condition of them, though, look, it's not amazing. I was happy to grab them all for $30, along with all of the Yu-Gi-Oh cards here too. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lot them up. I've done it before where I sold a bigger large allotment just like this um, for about 200 bucks. I don't think we're going to be able to get about 200 for this stack um, because unfortunately the condition isn't as good. Um, so this allocation here may go for about a hundred odd dollars and then I'm going to list up this one single Pokemon card for 20 to 30 dollars. A lot of these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards unfortunately were fake. Um, so I've had to go and leave them by the wayside, but we believe these cards here are genuine. Let me know in the comments if you believe they are or aren't. Um, but we've got a number of different cards here. This Cyber Dragon was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, look, not 100% sure. They do say first edition on them as well. We'll see how we go. Whether or not I list these up, I'm not sure. The condition is varying as well, but these sorts of cards at $30, I thought it was worthwhile grab because you can always come back and learn a little bit back at home. And I think that's part of the enjoyment of what we do with these garage sales as well. So, you know, 30 bucks for all of them. I was pretty happy with it. As for the records, I thought this was a pretty awesome deal. Um, you've got this one here that was going for about $50. This one was going for about 30 to 35 as a brand new copy. And then you had the Rocky Horror Show going for about 30 as well. So you're looking at about 110 to 120 in value. And we only paid the $5. So this football was an amazing find, completely genuine, brand new. It's got its Sir Doug Nicholas round. This is the Aboriginal edition of the football. Um, the Sharon footies always go for upwards of 80 to to $100, and that's no different with this one here. I should be able to get about 80 bucks. I did know that at the time. So when he said $20, I was more than happy to go ahead with the purchase. And then as for the consoles, this was all $80. PlayStation 3, Nintendo 64, this was only $10, which I thought was a great grab. This Blu-ray player is actually selling for $125. Um, so that was a brilliant pickup. But then we've got the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and then that there for parts was going for about $70. And I'm probably going to sell that for parts because he said there were a couple of things wrong with it. Um, so $70, $125 makes that around about $200. And then this and this should be about $200 as well. Um, so what's that? $400 worth of consoles and VCRs and Blu-rays. And then finally, I think this is the best buy of the day. This is the PlayStation 2 backlit sign. And when he brought that out, I was shocked to see it. I couldn't believe it. You wouldn't have imagined he would have done something like that. You've always got to ask questions when you're at garage sales because you never know what, got, what people have lying around their house. He brought this out and then he said $20, which is what I was hoping to be able to pay for it as well. Now, I haven't been able to find anything for this online. I just can't find it. It just seems to be a promotional sign that stores might have been using back in the day. It is absolutely vintage and it turns on. It works really, really well. So I'm actually, believe it or not, thinking of listing that up for about $750. Let me know what your thoughts are if you're in the gaming world. Do you think I can get about $750 for that? What I'm tempted to do is leave it there because it's on my gaming cabinet and I just think it looks really cool. And then I can price it up for a high $750 and if it sells, great. If it doesn't, I can leave it there and I think it looks awesome. So, you know, that certainly made the buy, but every single other item that we're able to find here today is gonna to go on to sell for some amazing money. So I'm absolutely wrapped with today. Now, if you enjoyed this video, guys, I'd love you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I am gonna go out and do some more garage sale hunting based on the success of today's haul. If you missed this video right here, it was a trip to our local flea market where we found a ton of great stuff to sell on eBay and a lot of it has already gone on to sell.